the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping into Fishing Planet. So I'm at Mudwater River here in Missouri, and I've been practicing a lot trying to find the best spots here that you can make some good money, good XP, catch the fish that you want to catch. I've been catching catfish, I've been catching the uh, largemouth bass. So we're going to look right now. And this is a good hot spot. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. You see, I caught this four pounder. This is actually the biggest channel catfish that I've caught. And um, I am, there's a couple of different ways you can fish. Uh, this I'm feeder fishing right now. I've also been spin fishing. And you also can float fish. And I actually meant to bring a different float fish. So I'm going to do that one in another video. So look out for that one. Because um, I'm going to do different spots. And I'll show you float fishing as well. This is going to be more feeder so let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. We got some guys right here fishing, and they've been catching some big fish as well. So if you come, this is where you start out. If you look on the map where I'm right here, you start here normally. This is that first little place they suggest you start on this side. And that's at the map. It's right, uh, right here. All right. And you want to cast not very far. You cast in the direction of these leaves, but anywhere along here is deep. You see how they have their float fishes set up right here? It's very close, very close to the shoreline, but it's a very deep area. There are also deep areas on the other side. So anywhere right here. So where I just caught that uh, big catfish. I just threw it out a little bit right here. All right. And I'm going to set that up. And while we're waiting, I'll show you what uh, rod I'm using. Uh, it's on the float, but it's a Creek Pearl 9 foot Crucian Hunter reel, uh, the 0.50 braid line, open feeder half ounce, mono uh, liter 0 0.005, hook number two, and I'm using marshmallows. Now you can use different types. You can use show you what else I have um, you can use dough balls I like bread with honey uh, blood worms these pinkies these red worms but this marshmallow uh, did well to catch that catfish okay look we're going off <laughs> we're going off I almost missed it in the menu hopefully I didn't react too soon all right here we go here we go this is probably another catfish check that out so yeah, you're catching some nice catfish right here. Again, along this shoreline. All right, I'm gonna throw it over here a little more. And you see that look, they just caught a catfish as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull out my spin rod. I'm at the level where I got a walker, this 3 8 walker. And I've been practicing some top water. I'm throw it over here by these lily pads. Let's check this out. Up, oh, look, it's already going off where I can even get going. And look, this already got a hit too, but it missed it. Okay, let's switch back. <laughs> Check this out. The catfish is jumping. Okay, that one looks like it's not going to be a huge one. It's fighting a little bit, but nah, that's probably like maybe a pound, pound and a half. Yeah, pound and a half. Let's see. All right, we're going to throw it right back out. I'm going to throw it a little closer to the lily pad. Anywhere in this area, you get good hits. All right. Look, it's already going off. Look how quick it's going off. <sighs> All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that walk. Look at that. I got a hit, actually. Okay, let me go ahead and switch. The only thing about that walker, it seems like it doesn't hook very well sometimes. Oh, what is going on? Oh, he done swam so close already. Thank you. Oh, that's just a bluegill. Get out of here, bluegill. I'm going to go on and keep it. Because I'm trying to fill my net up. All right, let me come back a little closer. 
But float fishing works well too. Even though I'm bottom fishing, if you float fish and you set it down anywhere from 99 uh, up to like 70-ish, you got to be in the deep spots though. You'll catch some really good fish here as well. Um, if you're using like minnows or things of that nature, you can actually catch those um, bass as well. Let me go on and reel this in. I kind of missed it. I mean, look at this. It's going off before I can even get my spin out. It's going off. Now, I got a couple other spots I'm going to show y'all, too, that I was uh, getting some good activity with the spin. Uh, catching, like, those pickerels. Okay, it rang, but it's not ready. Now, if you spin fish up this way. All right. Oh, look, I lost that one. So I got a hit. I actually lost my bait. So we got another hit. So I'm going to have to reel that one in. I'm going to see what I can get here. Walking the dog real quick. Hey there, neighbor. Up, oh, look, got a hit. You see that? You see that? Using the walker, we got us a nice hit. Oh, he is going too. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Look at that. A trophy grass pickerel. Nice. 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 Check that out. So y'all getting some twofers on this one. Got that trophy grass pickerel. Okay, I'm going to reel this one in and I'm going to throw it back out. Since they took my bait. All right. Let's try that one more again. And like I said, staying fairly close to the shore really does well. Like the catfish are just all lined up like right here. Let that drop. Let's see if I can get a. Oh, uh oh, we getting another hit. Getting another hit. Getting another hit. All right, he should be about ready. There we go. It's a decent size one right here. This one looks like it'll be two pounds, maybe pound and a half, two pounds. Okay, pound and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Up, oh, I filled up my keep net. Talk on it. So I'm gonna have to go to what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna do this for the experience real quick. Just see if we can get one more. We'll throw it about right there. See if we can get us one more. Show y'all how live this spot is. And then I gotta go to the next day. When I came here, because it cost so much, I did five days. So it was like two thousand. But that way I had multiple days to earn back my money and then some. I didn't know about the day system really. So when you wanna, when you take a trip, go ahead and go multiple days, even if it costs you know an extra couple hundred dollars um, or a hundred or so each day, just do multiple days and then you'll ensure that you'll get your money back. All right, so let me up. I actually meant to switch the walker, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then we'll try a different lure. Come on, we walking the dog. We walking the dog. Walk it. Walk it. Look, look, look. We got a hit. He got a bite. All right, and you see that? We going off again. We going off again. We got another one. We got another one. Bam. Another pound and a half. So as you can see, you can really catch you some nice catfish right here. We're going to go on and release that. And I'm going to put this one up. Go ahead and finish walking this one in. It's probably not going to do it. Look at that. Oh, we caught us one right there. Look, I was just about to give up on him. Just about to give up on him. Oh, he is running too. Oh, this is a big boy. It stinks I can't save this one. Oh, but that's all right. Y'all getting to see a good one. Oh, if I could let go of some, I would. This is a big boy. Now, I'm not sure if this is another catfish or if this is a, a bass. 
oh man, if I could go to my keep net, I would let go. This one is really running. This might be one of the biggest ones I caught. He is all the way across the lake. Oh man. And he is deep too. I'm at a 121. Yo. This one is really going ham. Guys, you are getting to see the biggest fish I have caught so far. If I can reel him in, if he don't spool me. Can you get spooled on here? I really don't know. Oh, it's at 157, guys. I might get spooled. Oh, look, I'm about to get spooled, guys. I'm about to get spooled. Come on, can I reel him back? Can I reel him back? Oh, how do I uh how do I increase my tension? I don't forget. Oh goodness. How do I uh increase my uh oh 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 what is it? L guys, I have forgot how to um increase that tension. He is not wearing out. Oh, he is trying to spool me. Oh, what is it? R L. He is really running on me. Is it P? Oh, he is about to spool me, guys. Oh, my line gonna break. Come on, back fish. My line about to break. Oh, my line is about to break. I might have to cut this. Oh, oh, he broke me, guys. He broke my line. He broke my line. All right, guys, look, that's it. I can't even keep fishing no more. I can't even keep fishing no more. That was my, was that my spin ride. Yo, let's check this out. Dude broke my spin ride. Okay, well, at least it isn't totally tore up. I, I could run another one. I just need to get me another hook. Wow. And that was my that was my walker. I paid a thousand for that one. Wow, he took my line. But you see what you can get with that. Wore out my <laughs> wore down my ride. Wore down my reel. Took my little walker. So I gotta go buy another one. Uh so in my keeper, okay, I got fourteen hundred. And the other day I made about two thousand. One day I mistakenly was just trying to fast forward the time and I skipped the day. So I missed the day because I'm on day three. So day two, I kind of skipped. I made about 35, about 4,000 so far. So I made back my, my money that I spent to come here because I had to buy the license. I bought a three day license. Uh, let me show you that real quick. I bought a three, uh, three day license. That was 1100. And then it cost me 2000 to come here. So I fully made all my money back. Um, and then I got to learn a lot about this, this area. So I, I want to stay and fish one more. But because, um, actually, let me check the shop. Let me check the shop. That's right. They don't sell any because this is only a level four. Um, this is only a level four lake. But I could keep fishing with my spoons. I mean, it didn't totally take everything. Wow. And ain't that crazy. I didn't even have no more room. Like, I couldn't even... I couldn't even have kept that one if I wanted to. That's crazy, guys. Oh, I bought these grubs. I forgot about these. I hadn't even had a chance to test these out. Uh, okay, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this spoon. Okay, cool. So we still good. We still good. So I don't have to leave. I'm going to go to the next day. I'm going to throw this spoon real quick. But y'all <laughs> saw that. Ain't that crazy, guys? Ain't that crazy? We gonna throw this one. I really, I really did it. I mean, y'all saw that's exciting in itself. I'm gonna throw this spoon just see if I can get a hit. I mean, and look at how much my reel is wore down. I'm gonna have to pay to fix that. Wore down to 45%. Uh, that had to be either a trophy or a very huge. That had to be like a five, six pounder, man. So um, I actually bought a better reel, and I thought I brought it with me, and I chose the wrong one. I chose my float ride. I bought a, a match ride, I believe is what it is. So I was—I actually would have been using the bigger one because it went with, uh, oh, what in the world? It went with that walker. It actually would have supported it better. 
um, than this ride, and it probably wouldn't have spooled me out, but I didn't bring it. I brought it by mistake, and I need to buy a reel for it, the, the bigger reel. So I, I, my level went up where I can get it. But I'm going to go ahead and end that here, guys. Wow. Wow. I got spooled. He took my walker. It ain't even real, so you can't even eat it, fish. But that's great, man. Glad y'all see. Hit me in the comment box. Let me know if that's happened. That's the first time I really, really got uh, spooled out like that and lost my uh, lure. Hit me in the comment box, guys. Any tip, any info that you guys have is greatly appreciated. I'm going to come back and just keep fishing. Uh, I'm going to come back and keep fishing with this, this regular uh, casting spoon. And, you know, I'm going to come back tomorrow, go ahead and fast forward to the next day because I got uh, two more days here. So I'm going to use those days. And uh, I may even do another video, you know, actually using this spoon and showing you spots like this. But this is a good hot spot video, guys. And we got some excitement at the end. I don't mind getting spooled for you guys. That's pretty cool, man. It's actually pretty exciting. All right. So, again, man, thank you for stopping through. Make sure you like, guys. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to do more videos like this. And, uh, yeah, share any tips, any info you have, and if you dealt with a situation like that. All right. Charles Macro. Fishing Planet, thank you for stopping me through, and I'ma holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro.